I like that it's small but big at the same time. You know, you don't need a car. You, uh, there's so much to do. You just skate around and hang out. You know, that like it, you're, it's faster walking than it is like driving or taking a train sometimes. It's just it's like my most favorite place to be ever because of skateboarding. If I wasn't into skateboarding, I'd probably be some art bag. Well, I wake up at like seven in the morning every day. No matter what, wake up at seven in the morning. I get up, hop in the shower, throw on like a song, maybe some Dinosaur Jr., Animal Collective, and go down the street, go go out of my building, go across the street to the bodega, get a coffee, maybe some uh, Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. But I always, always, after I get up and you know leave my building, the first thing is to get a coffee, sit and enjoy the morning by myself because I'm up at 7 so nobody else is around. After I leave school, I'll be staying here. Definitely not, you know, get an apartment, I'll be living here. I, I can't picture myself anywhere else. Hopefully I'll be doing photography, some sort, you know, maybe skateboarding, maybe maybe not, and uh, definitely skating all the time, you know. I think I'm going to be here for a long time. At least, at least do the 10 years where you're an official New Yorker. You have to live here for 10 years to call yourself a New Yorker. So maybe uh, I'll do that. I interned for John Maring, head photographer at Skateboarder magazine. Lives in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, basically, I go, I help him out when he needs help. I do some computer work. I, you know, I uh, do all the tax, tax returns and stuff for all of his trips and skate around the city. It's probably one of the best jobs I've ever had. I don't get credits or money for it. I just do it because I love photography and skateboarding equally. And you know, I get to hang out with pro skaters, like people I looked up to my whole life, a photographer I've looked up to my whole life. And it's like, you know, we're, it's like, we're like friends. We're not, you know, boss and employee. Like, you know, I could go hang out with them and go out and get food and stuff. So it's pretty cool and it happened on a whim. And thanks, like, you know, if I didn't know Lou Metal, I probably wouldn't have gotten it, but, uh, it happened out of nowhere and I'm just very happy and very grateful that it did happen because it definitely made my first year in New York a lot better than like some asshole who just sits in his dorm room all the time. Before I even knew I wanted to go to school here, I was here, you know, just I would have moved here just to skate. Like, there, it's so crazy, you just skate spot to spot, you know, you could go, you could skate from the downtown to uptown and, you know, 20 minutes and go to another spot and you just run into the most ridiculous stuff like Gino Anucci is around the corner right now doing a photo shoot. He's right around this corner. Like you, you would never run into that anywhere except New York City. Like there's like I've been here every day, moved home for the summer, you know, and I'm already back. It's been like two weeks. I can't take it. Like I have to be here. You know, it's just something you have to do. I guess uh, when you love it, you know you, you can't separate your love. You know, but this is this is my home now. I'm probably never gonna leave. Just hang out, and skate, and enjoy life while I can before I get married. It's summertime right now, and it's beautiful, and I can't be sitting here anymore. So I'm gonna go skate. <laughs>